Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, I'm Janie. Yeah. So today I thought I would do a, another uni advice video thingy and talk about student essentials and yes I am trying to pronounce that word like overly because it's a really difficult word to pronounce <laughs> but yeah I thought I would talk about the things that as a student I think you need so if you're thinking about going to university if you've gotten into university at this point and you're packing which do it, it's fair enough because I started packing in February when I went into university <laughs> it's I just thought I would tell you a few things that I think are quite essential to student life okay you ready Okay. First thing I've actually got here is a water bottle. Okay, this I would describe as an essential just because of how distracted you are as a student and how easy it is to forget to drink water. <laughs> and I would just highly recommend that you have at, at least one bottle of this a day, but two bottles of this is enough water a day. I'm not sure anyone could actually eat that, like drink that much in a day, but. Water bottles are just so easy, you can just grab them and go take them to your lecture or just take them out with you, you can keep them by, by your bed, it's just such an easy thing to have and I would recommend getting a really good one for university. <laughs> yep, yeah. I'm just gonna, all of it is literally behind me so I'm just gonna grab things randomly as I go. Okay, let's go with this. Okay, you guys have met Jeremy before in my <laughs> January favourites or my February favourites, one of them. But this is Jeremy. Hello. He is a wheat bag, if you can hear that. You put him in the microwave for two minutes and he gets hot and he's like he warms you up. He gets rid of back pain, neck pain, stomach pain, and headaches, surprisingly. He works well on headaches. But I would recommend getting one of these because it's just a really nice thing to have. It's not as dangerous as a hot water bottle and it's just like he's he's really cute. I just highly recommend having one of these, having a wheat bag because it's just a really good way to get rid of pain and it's a really nice thing to have on a really cold winter's night when you can't get up and go get a hot water bottle you just put him in the microwave two minutes and he's hot and you're okay it's just, it's a really convenient, nice thing to have and I would highly recommend having one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah, he's okay let's go around for this side now oh yes, okay, this is another thing I've been having. I actually take notes on my iPad now in lectures, but for revision purposes, you need one of these. And I will say that if you do take notes on your laptop, make sure that you have battery life. I know it's a really dumb thing to say, but yes, because every now and again I've gone into a lecture, gotten halfway through, and my iPad dies. It it's a disaster when that happens so make sure you charge it up overnight but yes i highly recommend you get one of these this is only a 200 sheet you can actually get a 500 one i think but they are really really good for revision purposes you can sort them out into different files because they're like you can rip the pages out it's just cheap nice convenient thing to have for revision purposes at university and yeah uh, Maybe positioning it like this was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, another thing is hoodies. Hoodies. Hoodies are one of the essentials I would say to uni life because they, you could just put them over any outfit pretty much. And it's just better than and always wearing a coat I would say. <laughs> like, I, I do like my coat but it gets way too hot sometimes. It's just nice to have a little thin alternative hoodie thing. This is actually my boyfriend's hoodie my hoodies downstairs <laughs> but it's just a nice thing to have to keep warm and I would highly recommend having at least two of them just because they kind of need them and they're just really nice and warm and you can wear them around the house you can wear them when you go out and it's just a good idea to have a few of these and I'm assuming that a lot of you probably do have them but I just thought I would tell you all right all right oh yeah okay yeah this looks like a blanket in the shop, but it's not. This is my dressing gown. This is my very fluffy, very nice dressing gown. Dressing gowns are a lifesaver, especially when you live in halls, because sometimes you can't be bothered to get dressed. I'm just going to point out, you can't be bothered 
So you put on your actual clothes, you just come out in your pyjamas and just every now and again you'll have a morning where it's freezing, absolutely freezing. And trust me, on those mornings, you need one of these. And it's just a really nice thing. You go in the kitchen with all your friends, all of them in your pyjamas and a dressing gown, and you just sit there and drink tea, and it's just a really nice thing. But I, I would highly recommend getting a good quality dressing gown. This is from Primark. This was £8. I actually bought it specifically for uni, and it's the softest thing in the world. And I just, yeah, get a dressing gown if you don't have one. Or to be honest, buy multiple, have one at home and one here because it's a pain in the neck to carry back and forth because it's quite big and it's like it's quite big and thick and fluffy. So it's just yeah. Dressing gowns are an essential. Uh I'm on the same line with that actually. I'm gonna show you this now. Pajama bottoms. And yeah, I don't know if you're like me, or if anyone is, to be honest. I, my legs get really overheated when I sleep, so I actually can't physically sleep in pyjama bottoms. But I do love wearing them around the house, and honestly, there are days where you're going to be in the house all day, working on assignments, and you need these, you really do. They're just a nice, comfortable thing to wear, you can walk out of your room and not be embarrassed because you're actually wearing trousers, so it's just essential. These are pure like you need these for days in the flat for days in the house for just one like just relaxation they're important these for eight pound from asda these were a christmas present so i don't know how much they were <laughs> uh slippers slippers these are the oldest slippers in the world i don't know where they were from they were a christmas gift from when i was like 14 my feet are tiny but yeah slippers Slippers are again an essential thing, not because the floors are always dirty or anything like that, that it's just a, your feet get cold and sometimes the floor is dirty in the kitchen. It, come, okay, there are multiple people sharing a kitchen, it's going to get messy, it's just fact. So where having slippers to walk in the kitchen with is just important. I would highly recommend getting some good quality slippers. And these aren't exactly good quality anymore, but they're really nice and warm and comfortable. And I'm probably going to get some more at some point. But yeah, slipper is essential. Okay. Uh, next thing I've got is leggings. So this is all the same lines of the pajama bottoms, except for you can leave the house wearing these. <laughs> I wear leggings all the time at uni and they're just a really nice thing just to slip on in the morning and just go to lectures with. They're a really, really good thing to have. Like, This is the only, I would say, gender specific one, I guess. Well, the guys could wear leggings if they wanted to. Nothing stopping them. But yeah, this is. these are a very, very, very nice thing to have. Just so you can slip them on, just put a baggy jumper on top and just go to a lecture. It's just easy. So yeah, they're very, very good. Well, next thing I've got is breakfast bars. These are on the line of the get up, go to a lecture thing, along with the water bottle and the leggings. But yeah, these are Alpin strawberries and yogurts, which are actually my favourite breakfast bar at the moment. But... Yeah, breakfast bars, just keep them in your bag. And when you get to a lecture and you realise, oh, I forgot to have breakfast, just eat it in the break. It's just a really good, convenient, cheap thing to have that if you forget a meal, you're covered. It's just good. It's a good thing to have in your bag. Yeah, I'm making uni sound horrible when I talk about this. Like, you don't have any free time. You do have free time, I will just say that. But it's just like, if you get to a lecture at 10am in the morning, and you're running late, the odds are very likely that you've forgotten to eat breakfast and the odds are very likely you've forgotten to drink something. So yeah, this and a water bottle are essentials to making sure you stay healthy <laughs> during lectures and staying aware because staying aware in lectures is more important. So yes, breakfast bars. Um, tissues. Yeah, okay, this is a random one. I think this is a more uh, Welsh school specific one because it rains a lot here. And I get ill a lot, and these are always a nice, convenient thing to have in your bag, especially when you have a cold. But yeah, I would recommend keeping tissues on you, because you never realise how much you need them until you don't have them around. <laughs> yeah, tissues. Essential. Especially if you go into a Welsh school where it rains a lot. <laughs> okay, this is just a physical example of what I'm about to tell you, is... um. The, this is okay. This is a Now TV box for a Now TV actual box, which is down there. Yeah, that's it's behind the wardrobe. <laughs> but yeah, N uh, I recommend getting one of these services because it's important. It's 
I'm not saying you're going to have too much or too little free time, but to add in my first and second year realizations, I probably have said that you'll have too much or too little free time. And if you have too much free time, now TV and Netflix are a lifesaver. <laughs> they stop you from going insane. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They're just a really good thing to have on the background when you're doing something stressful or just on in general, just to relax. It's just a nice thing to have. It's, even if you do have too little free time as well, you can just watch a film. It's just, I would highly recommend getting one of them. Just getting Now TV or getting Netflix or one, one of them. The Now TV box I actually have was a gift from my dad. And I borrowed my boyfriend's Netflix, so I don't pay for either of them. Which is probably a bit bad. <laughs> but, yeah. I would recommend getting one of these services. They're definitely an important thing to have at uni. Because you either will have too much or too little free time and you'll need some downtime. So especially if you're a film geek like me. Okay, I'm getting to the end of this, there are only a couple things left. Soup. I would recommend having a can of soup in your cupboard at all times. <laughs> Just because there are going to be days where you don't want to shop. And there are going to be days, like lazy Sundays, where it gets to 4 o'clock and you can't go shopping. And you're going to be very, very annoyed at yourself because you won't have any food in. So I'd highly recommend always having just a single can of soup in your cupboard at all times, just to make sure that on the days where you can't be bothered to go out shopping, you have food to eat. Okay, this is the big soup beef and veg, which actually I don't like, so I don't know why I grabbed this one. <laughs> the chicken and veg one is my favourite. But yeah, I would just highly recommend having a can of soup just to make sure that even on the days where you don't do your, your full-on weekly shop, you have food. It's just a good backup thing to have. It's healthy and warm. Oh, this is probably my most important one, I would say. Dry shampoo. Specifically, Batiste dry shampoo is actually my favourite of the ones that I've tried. But, yeah. This is also another when you're in a hurry and you need to go to Lurch's thing. You wake up in the morning, spray it in your hair. Go. Just, yeah. It's just a nice, convenient thing. Yeah, but this is definitely an essential to student life, I would say. So, yeah. Get, get some of this. <laughs> Actually, there is a bigger size than this one, so I think you should get get the bigger size of it so it lasts a bit longer. And I've got a stapler here. This is essential for handing in assignments because if you... The handing in assignments, the way that we do it is we usually hand in a physical copy and a copy online. And every time I do that, I always buy Polly Pockets. And it's such a waste of money because they all disappear. Get a stapler. Staple the pages together. Hand it in that way. So much cheaper, so much easier. Yeah, just do that. Okay, is there anything else I can think of? Okay, go on. Oh yeah, laptops I would say are, are an important thing to uni life. If you don't have one, I wouldn't worry about it. I've got friends who have just have computers and they're fine. But if you want to study with your friends in the library or you want to study with your friends in the kitchen, it's a really nice thing just to have a little laptop that you can do work on. So if you don't have a laptop, that's okay. But it's just a really nice thing to have. And another thing I've written down is OneDrive. Uh, get a OneDrive account if you don't want to get Word, if you don't want to have to buy all the <sighs> Microsoft Office stuff. Just get OneDrive and use Word Online. It works just as well and it's cheaper. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is all my recommendations of student essentials. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it was somewhat useful to anyone planning to go to university. I will probably be doing a lot more of these the further on into the year because I actually really enjoy talking about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what are your student essentials actually. See, tell me if I've missed anything. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!